it's time we blow this scene. Get everybody in the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, let's jam. What's up, guys? My name is Brendan, and the trick of the week this week is the rodeo cork. Today, I'll be going over what the rodeo cork is, how to know if you're ready to do cork variations, and then the best advice I have for doing this trick, how you should master your setup and how to do it consistently. So with that said, let's get started. First, I wanna talk about the rodeo cork and cork variations. A cork variation is just a cork where the athlete adds an extra element, either an element from martial arts where they're doing a cork round or a shuriken cork or an element of aesthetic, like the rodeo cork, where your goal is to just set and then after you get your flipping momentum, you grab that swing leg and you open up into a nice big rodeo position, arching your back and making a circle with your swing leg and back hand. If you can get into the rodeo position, you're executing the rodeo variation. But keep in mind, this is still a cork, so you need to get the set you need, the right amount of flip and the correct twist. So before you learn cork variations like the rodeo cork, I recommend you follow the 10 out of 10 rule. The 10 out of 10 rule states that you should not scale up or variate a trick until you reach a certain level of consistency. The consistency that I recommend for athletes is 10 out of 10. Before moving on to the rodeo cork, cork variations, or scaling up to tricks like the double cork, you need to be able to do a cork at least 10 out of 10 times, which means if you do nine good corks and then you fail on the last attempt, you're not ready. Consistency is king, especially if you want to avoid injury. So before doing cork variations, make sure you're able to do the cork 10 out of 10 times. Next, I wanna to talk to you about your setup. You see, to do a good consistent rodeo cork, you need a good consistent setup. What I mean is your setup is whatever gets you to that eagle position. Some people like the touchdown rise, others like to do a J step, but personally, I love the master scoot. I find the master scoot gives me a good mix of power and control. And especially when doing a variation like the rodeo cork, I need as much control as possible. So if you guys want to learn a trick like the rodeo cork, one of my best recommendations is to find a consistent setup. And the setup that works for me is Master Scoop, but that might not be the setup that works for you. You might prefer a touchdown rise, a J-step, or maybe even a Gumby. Before moving into cork variations, make sure you have a good setup for the cork itself. Next, I wanna talk you guys through the rodeo cork technique. And the rodeo cork starts just like any other cork variation. You get into that eagle position, or you use your setup to push you up into the air. As you're swinging for that set, it's the same set as the cheat gainer or the cork. You need to be swinging with a straight leg to generate that flipping momentum as you use your arms to generate momentum as well. Once you leave the ground, that's when you can initiate the rodeo variation. You don't wanna be turning too fast or pulling your leg too early because that will cut down on your set. But once you leave the ground and your leg is straight, you're going to turn in to move into your twisting position. As you do this, you want to take your left arm and pull it to your chest as hard as possible because that's going to be doing the majority of the twisting. After you pull that arm, you need to reach your other one behind you to grab that back leg as you use your hamstring and glute to pull it up. Once you get that grab, you're going to turn to open up into that nice big rodeo position, making that circle with your swing leg and back arm. Then after that, you just turn to spot your landing and open up just like any other cork. The amazing thing about the rodeo variation is that middle rodeo position. So the harder you can hit that position and the more clean you can make it, the better your rodeo cork will be. But that's the technique for performing it. You just set like you would any other cork, 
but when you move into that twisting position, instead of bringing both arms in, you use that left to get the majority of the twist as your right arm reaches back to grab that swing leg. But that's how you do the rodeo cork. Next, I wanna share with you two important drills for perfecting the rodeo cork and making it more consistent. The first drill is the rodeo arch, and this drill looks absolutely ridiculous. To do a rodeo arch, you lay on your stomach, you grab both your ankles behind you, and then you arch, building the back flexibility you need to then do the rodeo variation. The second drill is the rodeo swing, and this drill is really important for getting that grab. To do the rodeo swing, you stand steady in that eagle position, and then you swing up, and then after you get to this point, while still grounded, you pivot your back foot as you grab your swing leg. The better you can make that drill of swinging up, turning to grab, the more consistent your rodeo cork will be and the easier it will be to get that grab. If you do the rodeo arch, you'll get the position you need and you'll build the back flexibility. And then by training the rodeo swing, you can get consistent with the grab so that way you're able to open up into the position you need. So do these two drills and your rodeo cork will be far better. This video would not be complete without talking about the value of repetition. You see, for me to get a good, consistent rodeo cork, I had to do thousands of corks. And then I did those two drills I showed you, the rodeo arch and the rodeo grab, hundreds of thousands of times. And then after building the kinesthetic awareness I need and by training my muscle memory with the drills, only then am I able to do a nice solid rodeo cork. And the first time I did a rodeo cork, it looked really bad. It took hundreds of repetitions to go from a sloppy, less consistent rodeo cork to a good, clean rodeo cork with a big open body position and nice pointed toes. Guys, when you're approaching any cork variation, keep in mind repetition is necessary and consistency is king. If you can rep out the trick time and time again, it will be far more consistent so that way you're less likely to get injured and things are easier to perform. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support mastering tricking, go to howtomastertricking.com, check out the mastering curriculum, pick up a shirt, or maybe even become a patron. Your support means the world to me, and I couldn't keep this channel going without you guys. So thank you again from the bottom of my heart, and have a lovely day.